All right, so today we have Chauncey Ben Bree 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 Ann here visiting. It is Saturday, yep. July 5th, and the evening, and your mother's coming up with beets. And she boiled up some beets. So that'll be fun because it'll fool the staff into thinking I have bloody urine, so that's going to be fun to watch their reaction. Yep. And she's always this excited. <laughs> Pretty much. I'm a pretty exciting person. And we had, um, I'm getting tired of the menu. They don't understand how to do vegetables here. They do a can of peaches, a can of pears, a little bunch of grapes. They open up another can of sugar pears and peaches. They'll cut up a little bit of cantaloupe and just a little bit of honeydew. More pears and peaches open up a can. That's about it. So. It's about all I've had for several days, and so my wife's coming to rescue me with some green stuff. I'm gonna actually get to have um, spinach and some other stuff, so I'm excited about that. I'm ready for something other than pears and peaches and grapes. Yeah, I want some real food. So, Fourth of July was pretty good last night. It was fun. I'm just publishing my video up that was goofy. They're all goofy. Hey, it looks like I'm only going to be in here for about five or six days this time. Um, each round of that, of that vitamin P orange that you see up there, that's um, going to be four days of those. And then one other day of some other infusions. So about five days of infusions, possibly a sixth day. And then get to go home for about 14 to 15 days, depending on my blood values. I may have to stay a little longer, depending on my blood values. So the intention is to be a three-week turnaround time from the beginning of one to the beginning of the next. And that's it. So I'll hire you later. All right, so for the second night in a row, I just wanted to show we do have an appearance by Stephanie Bailey. She has come over to do an inspection on food because her and her husband brought over this great food for juicing and all sorts of healthy things and i didn't get to it before i got to the hospital so she's making midnight appearances to make sure i'm not sneaking in cookies or other things and i've got janice here <laughs> so uh you are now busted and it's official yeah. you're here well yeah. i brought cookies last night you sure did yeah. <laughs> thank you <laughs> all right let's see is that thing on you can't hardly see it because the bright window behind you Get your butt up over here so we can see. I know, it's hard. All right, ladies and germs, we got us here. This is Chris Garcia, one of my students that came through their class in dialysis. And we're still keeping in touch with each other because Chris is the man. He's uh, going into nursing school, working on his options, figuring it out. We've got a pre-nursing student over here, so we've been developing pre-nursing. She works over there at... Uh, Dialysis also, so we're all kind of like all dialysis nursing, and we're all kind of like just. Uh, just dialysis. Everybody dialysis. Dialysis. I'm straight nursing. up just CNA, PCT. Okay. Oh, we love you just the way. We'll, we'll keep you take anyway. Care of people. And we'll keep right you there's butt. the red devil. We love so. You just the way you are, baby. Anyway, so uh, good guy right here. Good guy. I just want to tell you who I've been coming by to see me in my oh, room, hanging out with some of the best. Only the best allowed in. Only the best. So, uh, what's going on? Okay. Tell you, I've got a friend here from work by the name of Kelly Clarkson. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Kelly and Smith is going to, it says, Be still and know that I am God. And that is from Psalm 4610. And she was going to share with me how this blesses her. Okay, so in this picture, you know, in the Bible, Jesus said that he is the vine and we are the branches. Right. So. All of these branches actually have little flowers connected to them. And those little flowers are all the people that he sends into our lives. There's a little, you can see some of the flowers on here are dark. Yeah. Those are our dark days. When okay. we're going through stuff and we don't think that we can take it another step. Yeah. We don't think we have any strength or life in us. So then all of these people from God come to our rescue. They come and they're with us. And even if they're not with us, we know they're there in the background. The color of this was really significant to me because the color is kind of a brownie gray and that's kind of the Mark and Meyer of our lives. The color of storm clouds, the color of muddy waters, the stuff that we're going through. Mm -hmm. And in our going through all of that stuff, the vine is still there even if you can't see him 
Okay. But you can see him through the branches. Yeah. And it says be still because sometimes our minds are so full of confusion and thoughts and fear, fear and worry mm -hmm. and all of those things that he reminds us to be still, to quiet our minds and know, not just know, but know that I am God. Well, I am is what he calls himself in the Old Testament. Right. The great I am, which means that he is always with us. Mm -hmm. No matter what we're going through, no matter how we feel, no matter how hard it gets or how great it is, he is always God in our lives. So if you can keep that in mind when the days are hard, and they will be, and when you feel like you don't have the strength to go on, and you'll have days like that, because we all do, mm -hmm. just remember. Well, I like the, the be still part. All of the people. Because I don't. that means I don't have to necessarily Labor. strive to make it happen. It's if I will just let him, he will. He will. And you don't have to worry about what tomorrow brings because he is God of today and he's God of tomorrow. I like that very much. Thank you. You're welcome. So I'm going to put it up here so you can see it. And like I said, it's light enough that you can... Have Janice bring it into the hospital when yeah. you go to the hospital for your treatments and it decorates your room a little bit and just reminds you of whose you are. I like that very much. Thank you. You're welcome. And you know it's right above the safety sharps box. <laughs> there you go. So it's going to keep me safe and sharp and knowing that he's God. Amen. Well, thank you very much. That's very sweet. You're welcome. Hi, everybody. My name's Neil, a friend of Rob's from Tasmania, Australia. Um, I've known this man for, give or take, 10, 11 years. And he's one of the best people I will ever know. And, yeah, I, I don't know what else to say besides... He's too good a man to be deserving all this shit. <laughs> but I hope everybody gives him his support and... I'll be doing as much as I can from where I am. Yeah. Have a good one, people. All right. Thank you, brother. I appreciate it. All right, people. I got one more for you here. Well, a couple of more things, actually. My oncologist came in today, Dr. Milam, and she took a needle put it right here you know, shave a little betadine all that type of stuff clean it up and I have what's called an Omaya reservoir O-M-M-A-Y-A -M -M Omaya reservoir and it's primable you can push down it's a little soft bump type thing real soft you can push it in like a button and you know she cleans it up gets betadine on there and takes out some of the fluid it goes right into the ventral of my brain, one of the big cavities that opens up the brain. I got a lot of big cavities that are open in my brain filled with fluid. And that was an attempt at humor, I hope you understand. But And she took out some of that fluid, sent it off for like cytology, looking for cells, cancer growth, that type of thing, make sure it looks like it's normal. Do I need any oil changed in my head? That type of thing. And then she put some methotrexate back in there, which is a type of chemotherapy. And that goes into the middle of the brain. Most of you, somewhere in your life, heard of meningitis. Meningitis, the itis means inflammation of. And then the meninges is this thick, fibrous sac that encloses the brain and the spinal column. And it's meant to be a protective mechanism that keeps bacteria and viruses from getting around the body in general and crossing over into the brain and into the uh, spinal column. Well, it keeps it's so thick and fibrous, it keeps the chemotherapy from going in the port in my chest here. Uh, right here, it keeps it from going here into my brain. It can't cross that fibrous barrier. 
So this was put in up here to give chemotherapy here on the inside of the brain, and then this here goes chemotherapy to the rest of the body. So that's how I get chemo to my whole body. Uh, when you hear meningitis or something, what you're hearing is that protective membrane is so powerful that it's fighting to keep things out of the brain, and here we don't, for whatever reason, the cancer can slip back and forth through that little shield, but the chemotherapy can't, so we've got to put chemo on either side. So anyway, I wanted to just share that with y'all that today they did what's called an intrathecal uh, administration of chemo. Intrathecal means they put it here in this Omaya port. I got a, a neat email that I want to read to y'all. It's a short one. Friends and family do make all the difference. This is uh, to Amy Bruner, Sergeant Bruner. And uh, it was from yesterday's update, and she said, Hi, Robert. Your treatment sounds absolutely amazing. Not, with a bunch of exclamation points. I'm glad you haven't lost your sense of humor, though. I just wanted you to know that my 13-year-old son, Ben, you got to meet him at one of our meetings, has become quite interested in your journey, and asked for updates daily. Hey, Ben, glad that you're interested. Uh, medicine's a good field to go into. Glad to meet you and hope to um, be at one of these future meetings again one day when I get through this and shake your hand one more time and see how you've grown up because all your little kids do that at that age. You grow quick. So he's been quite, uh, quite interested in your journey and asked me for daily, daily updates. So thank you for being interested in this. Um, he has put you on the prayer list with his youth group. Ben, I really appreciate that, and that means a lot more to me than you know. I hope that you do get to go home on Tuesday and get some much-needed rest before round two. Thanks for keeping us all up to date. Love to you and your family, the Bruners. Thank you, Amy. I appreciate that. It means a lot, Ben and all of y'all. Um, I always love, <clears throat> excuse me, I love hearing Amy's stories of going fishing and all that good fun stuff. So I'll just a shout out to the Bruner family and to all of y'all and thank you. And uh, y'all got to hear from Neil in Tasmania. Cool accent, don't you think? I uh, never have got to meet him in person, but I played a game called World of Warcraft. Many of you know, or maybe at least heard of, and we met back in 2004 and met online and we just had a friendship that never stopped. We just kind of clicked and uh, with the amazing technology of all this stuff we can do we've just remained friends and he's encouraged me through the years and um, I'm hoping that I've been an encouragement to him and he's fallen in love with a neat little Japanese gal hard worker and uh, he's hoping to move to Japan and um, if you ever want to go look on his page or if you look on my Facebook page and go down and you want to support somebody he's worked real hard all his life and uh, he's still working hard, and he's been asking people to help him uh, get just a little extra coin to get over there and marry his bride-to-be, and he wants to move over there. He's been studying Japanese, and um, good man, good man. So, hey, friends and family do make all the difference in the world. Love you all, and I really appreciate you.